Dit is Argus Over Radio. Okay, this is uh, John Waterman, and you're listening to The Waterman Files, and we're in our last half hour, and, I'm, and I'd like to thank everyone for, for listening. In fact, I'd like to uh, express uh, appreciation for the listeners that are uh, in the chat room, too. And so we've got uh, Willem and uh, Juan, I think is what he's called, and Mockingbird and Mia and uh, some abbreviated ones, uh, JPSNL and Johan and Hose or Joe's Dabus and Jeps and Emil and Chain and uh, we just have a bunch of people in there. I can't pronounce a lot of them. And I want to thank you for, for being in the chat room, guys. Tobias and... Um, being there and uh, participating today, and uh, I hope that maybe I've been able to enlighten you a little bit. Maybe, uh, if not, just basically say that we are on the same page, huh? If you already knew this, and that, hey, we're not alone in more than one way. <laughs> but you know what? why this all occurred and what was revolving around all this also has many facets. So we have the Haiti earthquake, and of course we have that and we know because as we begin to think the way they've programmed us to, we have to constantly be thinking in blue and red, right? Blue states, green states, Republican, Democrat, and winners and losers. And so we have you know, sports that does wins and losses. So we get programmed and our mind actually becomes a, a system that processes via or information in a dialectic dichotomy. It's split. Left, right, up, down, right, wrong, black, white. That information and that, that processing is the way they want you to think because that's how they can then control you. They can tell you that your other indigenous neighbor on this planet that was actually friendly to you is actually your enemy and then you go kill them. But you know that's not always the way it was. It wasn't the way it was. We had these in, these beings and these entities. They came down to a certain location. They become involved with an area of the planet, maybe known as Lebanon, a disputed area between Lebanon and um, uh, I, um, Iraq and in Israel, a place over there disputed by him, called Mount Hermon. Why do some nations or some groups of people seem to be or have a propensity for evil, diabolically evil? Well, let's talk about the genetics part one more time. Genetic program came from something called the Genome Project. And it was being kind of, so to speak, held under a cloister working group within, guess what, the government. And then it was changed in order to make possible the release of this information and a private individual said, I can complete this. Now, folks, it wasn't that the project under government control couldn't get it completed. They just had absolutely no plans for you to get this information. Why? Well, think about it. Removing 
diabolical systems and removing monarchical systems, they're totally opposite, aren't they? At least in this discussion. We can have a diabolical monarch, but it's his choice to be that way. If you have a descendant of a diabolical pathological genetic strain invade your planet, and that's all it can be is diabolical, there's no chance for any good then, is there? That's what we're talking about. Protecting. And what is it that happens? They have some kind of genetic manipulation going on. So what is the Genome Project from? Well, the Genome Project came from, out of, a previous project of Germany. They had a genetic project and research going, didn't they? Hmm. But guess what? It wasn't about us. It was for them. The genetic process or the genetic work was brought back over to uh, America through something called Operation Paperclip along with the science projects of outer space. Isn't it interesting? It didn't have anything to do with agriculture. It didn't have anything to do with, you know, feeding and helping people. It didn't have anything to do with, gosh, let's find out how we can genetically heal ourselves. I can guarantee you that the Genome Project was used to identify how Nephilim could acquire the abilities that were found upon the people and in the people of this planet. They're not talking about the technical ability. But isn't there just something really unique about you and me that allows us to to be guided just by principles? If I were to tell you to treat others as you would be treat as you'd want to be treated. 